Today in this video we are going to study about the working of rotor caps for inlet and exhaust valves of the generator. We'll have a detailed description discussion in this one and also we will see how the parts looks like. So for the explanation purposes we have the spindle and we have the rotor cap, uh, the quarter collar and the springs. Right now I have with me an old spindle of the exhaust valve. As you can see, uh, the exhaust valves usually have this fins below. So when the exhaust is passing, it gives it as a, like a turning effect. As you can see, they are on angle. And uh, this is the rotor cap uh, for the exhaust valve. It's pretty much simple. It's like a bearing because the turning effect is generated by already the exhaust with this uh, fins or you can say the veins on the exhaust spindle. So and we have these two springs which is common for inlet and outlet and this is the locking uh, collar which keeps the valve in one place the spindle it just looks locks the spindle in one place uh, so this is of great importance while putting the spindle or installing the valve on the cylinder head now this is the inlet uh, rotor cap this is much more uh, uh, interesting in the working uh, this is the spindle as you can see the difference between inlet and outlet there is no rotating veins on the inlet spindle and the springs are same as the exhaust valve and then you have locking collar uh, for the inlet valve as well as you can see so let's see how first this collar sits on the spindle uh, it has a groove and uh, it is tapered so once it is fit against the spring force, it locks in one place. We'll show you in the detailed video now the how it goes like this. So the spindle doesn't fall off from the system. So this is the arrangement of exhaust uh, spindle on cylinder head. We don't have splinter head, but this actually mimics the setup we have. So you have a spring, then you have a the rotor cap on top and then the locking collars on the spindle so when the exhaust well is uh, opening the, the exhaust gases passes through the spindle and it turns it so as you can see that uh, the setup on the top helps the spindle to rotate on its axis now let's see the inlet valve how it moves because this is more interesting one so as you can see there is no fence uh, to rotate so the rotating effect we need to build a device which can give it a rotating effect this is the rotor cap of the inlet well i have already opened this one to see and to show you the parts which are inside so these are the plates which are supporting the the bearings uh, we will open them one by one and now see this is the rotor cap of inlet well you see the spring loaded ball uh, steel balls you have so when the well is uh, compressed or it's open these uh, springs get charged because of the downward force and when the spindle goes up then you have uh, a releasing force so it gives a turning effect you can see all these balls are arranged at a circular angle so they have a complete turning effect so this is the complete piece and this is the open one which we have right now and these are the spare parts for this well so hope you understood how it is working